Are you having trouble with accuracy on hole sizes and dimensions on your 3D prints? Well, today I'm going to show you how to fix that. Hi, I'm Mike from East Coast Additive. We're your industrial 3D print supplier in the Mid-Atlantic region. So oftentimes when you ask for a given hole size in CAD, that is not exactly what you're going to get off of your printer. There's a lot of contributing factors to this. Precision of your machine, material choice, the temperature of the bed, how well the first layer goes down. So I always expect some amount of an offset. If I ask for a six millimeter hole, I'm probably gonna get something else. So what I do to understand this offset is I will do some hole test blocks. So here's a hole test block for six millimeter holes. Here's a hole test block for eight millimeter holes. These are not thick. I only print them about five or six millimeters thick, just to understand. And I will ask for, in CAD, a hole size of 8.0, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, right up to 8.9. So I'll do one of these for eights and sixes and tens and quarter inches and whatever else. I'll run these, then I can measure the hole size and understand which of these holes is truly six millimeters. And I can compare that to what I ask for in CAD. So let's say that the hole that I asked to be 6.2 millimeters really measures out at 6.0. Well, now I understand that for a hole of that size with this material on that printer is going to run a 0.2 a millimeter offset. So if I want it 6.0, I'll ask for 6.2. You can certainly just run things right out of CAD, right to your printer, and you'll get what you get. But if you really want to dial in the precision of your model, this is one way that will really help you do it. If you're seeing us on Facebook or Instagram, give us a like. We have a YouTube channel you can follow. And you can find us on the web at www.eastcoastadditive.com. Follow us for more.